Thanks a lot for joining in. First up, the company is planning to invest about 1200 to 1500 crores in this plant. So how will this be funded and what's the debt position right now? The present debt position is 350 crore rupees, which is the term debt on our balance sheet as on 38 June 2015. And uh, our present shareholders funds are in the range of about 900 crores. We propose to invest our internal accruals over next two and a half, three years, uh, which should be in the range of about 300 crores for this project. Uh, we propose to raise about 700 crore rupees by way of debt uh, for the first phase of the project, which will be about 1,000 crore rupees, and balance around two to 500 crore additional capex will be taken up after a gap of two years. Okay, so what would the interest cost of the company go up by if your debt would, if you take on a debt of close to about 700 crores? This would be a mix of uh, foreign currency and Indian rupee debt at an average cost of about 10 to 11 percent. All right, and uh, where will you be sourcing the clinker for this from? We already have 3.3 million ton clinker unit and uh, the present grinding capacity has come at the same location so this has in fact helped us to deep bottleneck our grinding capacity and we have very good availability of fly ash from the nearby mudra ultra mega power plants of tata and adani and therefore now we would be enhancing our ppc production as we go forward okay uh, you know, Ms. Engineer, generally in the market, to set up a capacity of 4.1 million ton, um, you know, if you assume $120 per ton, the cost would be somewhere closer to 3,000 crore. Uh, can you tell us how the cost would only be 1,500 crore when you're, setting, when you're setting up such high capacity? What's the math behind it? When we conceived of our present project, we had conceived of a 10 million ton capacity at the same location and therefore a lot of infrastructure such as land, housing, administrative blocks, uh, the transmission lines for power, the port development, etc. has already taken place in the first round itself. And therefore what we now do uh, is only the brownfield expansion which is more like a plug and play for us and therefore the cost of the project is comparatively lower. All right, so with lower costs and a plug-and-play method as you speak, do we see the EBITDA per ton to improve from here? Because we uh, calculate about 871 rupees per ton as EBITDA. Do you see this improving? EBITDA per ton could improve on two counts. One is on account of the enhanced production of PPC, which would apparently be at a lower cost. And besides that, the savings that we incur on account of the freight cost because of the implementation of two additional terminals which we have just completed at Navlaki and Dharamtar. Okay. When would the planned capacity come on stream? The new capacity which we are now proposing to invest in will take about two to two and a half years. All right. All right. Thanks a lot for joining in. We'll. Uh Leave it at that, giving us all the details of this plant, which will increase their EBITDA per ton. But coming up on the other